All right, so every Monday we bring in local educators to share some ideas for STEM experiments and demonstrations you can do at home, usually just using things you have around the house. Joining us today, we have Kristen Urquidez, a science teacher at the new Del Oral High School, and your boys. I love that Drew and Connor are on summer break so they could join us for this. And yep. what did you bring? Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, it's been a little hot lately. A little, bit. <laughs> a little hot. Um, and we can actually make some ice cream without waiting forever for it to freeze in the freezer. Okay. Um, so basically, Basically, we just need some kind of cream. So I have regular milk, uh, but you can use like half and half, or you can use heavy whipping cream. We're gonna take about a half a cup, and we're gonna pour it in our little bag. Okay, so Drew, go ahead and start with that one. And then we're also gonna take about a quarter cup of salt. So mm -hmm. like rock salt works really good. I just got kosher salt. You're gonna pour this in your bag of ice. Okay, so we've kind of got two things going on here. Go ahead and open it up. So and salty ice and milk. Salty ice, and then we're gonna get our, our ice cream mixture here. So milk, we're gonna flavor it with a little bit of vanilla. Okay, so don't seal it up yet. Do about um, a half a teaspoon. Whole thing? Yep, whole thing. Right. And uh, of course we need some sugar. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, that's okay. Okay, pour it in. It's all right. That's the fun of science is you can get messy and it's totally fine. Yes. Okay. Well, for the most part. Yeah. Don't deal okay, with so dangerous pour that in there. chemicals. <laughs> Thankfully, these are not super dangerous. No. So we're good. Okay, so you can make yours. So get your bag. Okay. okay. So then... seal yours up. So milk, sugar, vanilla, basics. And then in our other bigger bag, we've got about four cups of ice and our salt. So the thing is, if we just had regular... Um, you know, ice, right? It would take a really long time. It would probably melt before this got frozen enough to call it ice cream. So what we're gonna do, the salt actually makes the ice melt faster. Okay. Okay. And what that's gonna do is it's going to cause us mm. to pull heat out of our ice cream, which is gonna make this freeze. Okay. So we're gonna have like two things going on here. So you gotta get some uh, exercise in. So now you're gonna shake this. Yes. Because it happens much quicker when you shake it. Go ahead. All right. And then we've got your milk. So we're having a transfer of heat, not necessarily. Yes. A, it, does that equate to a rapid freezing? Yes. So it does. it's going to freeze in about five minutes versus a couple hours you would need to let this wait in the freezer. So if you're like, I really need ice cream like now, <laughs> this is the way to do it. Okay. So we've got your milk, your sugar. And then you just need some vanilla to make it taste Yum. really yummy. <laughs> and you could have, throw strawberries in or something. Yes, maybe some chocolate syrup if you're like, want some chocolate. And then because it's 4th of July, you could add some sprinkles, right? And make it very festive. You're gonna have to shake it more than that to really like. <laughs> you gotta give it some. Okay, seal I don't yours know how up. To it. This is so fun for all ages. Yes. So you, everyone can get involved, everyone can help out. And um, you can enjoy ice cream in about five minutes with very little, you know, searching around for the ingredients you need. Just fantastic. And is there a website that you can go to to kind of show kids the science behind this reaction? Yes. So if you Google, like, ice cream in a bag, there are a lot of different websites that go over the endothermic reaction that's, like, pulling the heat out, right? Keep going. Like, you're going to have to, like, shake it. Do you see how it's melting the it ice? Is. Do you see that? And you're like, oh no, it's not working. But then if you look at this bag inside, okay, it's oh, starting. It's, thicker. it's thickening up. It's not quite ready yet. So you're gonna have to keep shaking it. About I'm five tired. minutes. I know, it's so tiring. That's a good workout. <laughs> okay. Cold, cold. It is cold. You'll notice the outside of the bag is really, really cold. Because now that energy is going and and melting our ice and making it just feel super cold. And it's just similar to why we put ice on yes. our, or, I'm sorry, salt on our ice, ice and roast. Yes, so, so places where they get a lot of snow, they throw ice on. It's not actually like melting the ice per se, but it's lowering the melting point. Okay. Okay. And that's all you need to do. And then you just break out the spoons, decorate it with some sprinkles, and you have instant ice cream. This is so much fun. I almost want to see you guys go play soccer with it to give your hands a break. But so many fun different ideas yes. to just make ice cream on a hot day. Yes, exactly. All right, Kristen, Drew Connor, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. We'll get some spoons in the break, and we'll be right back.